Our health spotlight. Travel is slowly picking up as more states reopen. We've seen more traffic out on the roads, too, actually, this morning. But that means you might be catching a flight for the first time since the coronavirus pandemic. There are protective measures. Infectious disease experts want people to know as they travel. News 8's medical reporter Dr. Mary Gillis is here with the future of flying. The future Heather. of flying. So people are out. They want to get fresh air, the freshest of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Why not 35,000 miles in the sky? Right. So um, obviously we've covered here on Daybreak. Airlines have continued operations. They've been taking a lot of safety measures themselves. Flight attendants wearing masks, sanitizing seats. But doctors say there are things that we can do as passengers to look out for ourselves too. Absolutely, there are some things that we can do to protect ourselves in addition to the great measures that all the airlines are taking. So the first thing is really consider if the travel is necessary. Is so so is it necessary? Do you have to go is it for leisure? Right. Um, maybe drive if you have the option. Yes, if you have the option, drive. Okay. And then um, what about the kind of seat that you choose on the airplane, that it can actually make a difference. Ah, absolutely. You want to go for a window seat, and I'll tell you why. So window seat, you if, if you're in the aisle, so you're more likely to bump into people. You know, it's kind of an arrow. People are bumping, bumping into you with their elbows and this and that, and that's human-to-human -human contact, all right? For now, we don't want that. And so window seat keep, prevents that. And I'll also add, you want to get up uh, uh, from your seat as little as possible, because then you're in the aisle bumping people and this and that and human-to-human -human contact. So those two things are very important. So even as your, your travel plans may be in place, you might have to travel for work um, and things opening just in restaurants around Marion County and otherwise in Indiana, social distancing is still a, a factor that we need to keep in mind. So these two things, mentioning driving and choosing your seat, have those really in mind. But also cleanliness. So not only relying on what the airlines are doing, but maybe doing that ourselves too. Absolutely. You know, maybe they missed a spot. They're doing mm -hmm. a great job. They're, they maybe they missed a spot. I mean, even if you see them wipe, wipe something down, I would just do it myself, just in case. Uh, so yes, and hand sanitizer is your best friend on those flights. And easy to so. find something in a four-ounce container, right? Absolutely. Hand sanitizer, so you can carry it on. Yes, you can. Not in the. <laughs> Don't check that hand sanitizer. All right. All right, Dr. Mary <laughs> Gillis. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Scott. It's 8:49 right now.